ready? Go. Okay. What is your faith toward God? The world will use you. A proof of that is when um, Grandma and Grandpa passes away. Someone who the family hadn't been to see in 10 years. All, all of a sudden, they flock around like buzzards wanting what they had. Do I get a piece of this? This is my, I have a right to this. I have much right as anybody else. <clears throat> you know, if Grandpa could, or whoever is the last one that dies, and they know they're going to pass away the next day, they should take a stick of match to every, pile it all up in one pile, house and everything. Stick a match to every bit of it. That way the buzzards would go hungry. <laughs> and at least they'd have their question in their mind, now why did Grandpa do this? And you know, and, and, and you know what, truth is, most of them probably would never figure it out. Not ever. You know, I guess I'm talking about this because of that six, uh, that 1.6 billion dollar um, lottery that was won yesterday by three different people. It was like a 563 million dollars a piece they won, and I hope they were all Christian. I hope they all have a chance to. Um, um, do something in the ministry with that money because I truthfully I bought some tickets and I was hoping that that's what would happen that that would be what happened if I did it um, I would change some things in America I would um, I would change I'd use my influence and my money to change what the media portrays as news um, through the influence that I would have they would they would tell more truth because if I own the station <laughs> you know what I'm saying they would say truth whether it would be a good truth or a bad truth it'd still be truth <clears throat> and they would tell things that news is what affects America but anyways the the devil will exploit you he he tries to, to get people like that who the folks who have won that kind of thing who has influence he tries to exploit them and first thing he does man he'll send an onslaught toward your way to try to distract you just like he does every useful Christian that God tries to use he will put something in their way to try to make them fall and the first thing he does is something like prestige he'll cause a person to want to look toward the admiration of men you know and oh man you look so good I've had people tell me such things that I had to think about for a while to think about whether I should pay attention to that kind of junk the Bible says consider not their faces because if you consider their faces God says he will confound your words now you, <laughs> you know what it's best just not to consider and through the years man you know, I've been in ministry now for, I don't know, 30 years or something, um, off and on. And and I minister quite a bit at church. And we sang songs. Man, we really, we were really sounding good yesterday. We had some uh, very, very spiritual moments. We had one of those church days where just didn't really get over until like 9 or 9.30 at night. I mean, <laughs> the people were... Some of the people were, um, uh, church was over, but we kept playing music. And the people that had ridden to work with me, I had to apologize to later, sort of. I says, I won't do that again. Um, but you know, and I really want to be led by God to, to do those things in which God wants me to do. Man, you, you know, and I don't want to be exploited by the devil. I don't want to be have other people to, to come in and be... Um, um, sidetrack me from the things of God and believe me if you get 1.6 billion dollars man you as a minister will be sidetracked I've had people tell me all oh, that that money's not going to change me I'm going to do all the same things I always did I said really I said 
these people are going to follow you around they're going to try to kidnap your wife and this fellow at work tells me I don't care says I wouldn't I wouldn't send them a penny I said what if they send you her finger I said what if they sent you a finger after finger after finger of your wife's what are you going to do then <laughs> yeah. he was starting to change his tune by that time but you know what knowing this guy he may let him kill her some people wouldn't and that's what I'm saying money changes you I'm, I'm sure right now if he would do everything he could to obtain his wife back him having no money but all of a sudden he's got money and he's not gonna he's not so it did change him already <laughs> you know so and, and that's what the devil does man he exploits the good intentions of God's people I gotta write that down give me that pencil over here babe the devil exploits the good intentions of God's people well I'm sort of in front of the camera I couldn't like get up and get a pencil and a paper so I can write on something um, and that's what happens with uh, our good intention they, there's an old saying that the the road to hell is paved with good intentions the good intentions of God's people you know why I'm writing this down right because this is going to be on my heading <laughs> And this is why a lot of people don't get God don't give them a lot of money because they're they're so easy to exploit. It takes a special person, you know, especially you know I, I must not be able to handle it because I bought a couple of tickets um, and I didn't win anything, so apparently I am not able to handle that yet. Hopefully I will. I'd like to be tested in it, and I suppose everybody else would too. I'll put 1.6 billion. That'll get attention, won't it? 1.6 billion. Hey, you know what? If you people got out there have some ideas about how to help me with this uh, YouTube, you can tell I'm not an expert. Now, some of my videos get good attention uh, or good attention. If the YouTube would just let them go through. Now, I noticed that sometimes YouTube will suppress your videos and that's that's if you don't monitorize them they want to be able to make money so they so they suppress those videos that, that are not monetized. but I'm not in this for money I'm not going to do that I believe that God can um, supply my needs other fashions other than me uh, seeking after money and everything that I do man because of television today and the way it is uh, which is a, just another exploitation you get on TV you get fake excuse me you get famous and what happens the the devil starts exploiting your good intentions in television he exploits your good intentions in in uh, your singing and and in your um, uh, daycare ministry he exploits your good intentions in your um, um, uh, children's ministry at church and your school and your uh, church bus ministry you know a church bus is a ministry he exploits your good intentions with your witness he exploits your good intentions in um, uh, your encouragement and others man the devil that's what he does he's good at it he exploits our good intentions to what we have listen to what the Bible says Ephesians 2 8 of course says for my grace we are saved through faith not of yourselves is the gift of God not of works lest any man should boast okay but now listen to this for we are his workmanship we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them and this is what the devil exploits you know what he does the first thing the devil would do is say, listen, don't worry about it. Did you read that last verse? Grace, it's all about grace. 
For you are saved by grace, he says. And don't worry about that faith part. That, that faith part doesn't really mean, that just means believing. Trouble is, what you believe is what you follow around all day. Man, I try to point that out to people. You know, there are some people who say, I'm covered by grace, and they, but yet they don't believe. No, but the Bible says, through faith, you're covered by grace through what you believe. And the devil exploits people in that, saying that they're a Christian when they are not. You're not a Christian if you don't follow what you say that you believe. In your heart. And this is the place where the devil exploits everybody and all their good intentions of what they intend on doing. You know, one of the worst things a Christian can do, I believe, is, is have that thing, have the love, have the root of all evil, the love of the root of all evil, and I have to say it to get, for the love of money, is, which is the root of all evil, have, the, have that root of all evil injected into their lives. 99% of Christians cannot handle that, one, that simple little thing because they become a tool to it rather than it, it being a tool to them. They just can't handle it. They just cannot handle it. And so we become the exploitation of the devil to be his handiwork. <clears throat> you know what? So many times, man, I have thought to myself, if I had 1.6 billion, it would be so easy to rub people out, <laughs> you know? Some people would rub somebody out for you just by you mentioning it, just so they can get on your good side. And all of a sudden, you know, you become the head of the mafia rather than being the head of a ministry, you know? And people can't, you know, the folks of influence can't tell me that they don't have to deal with that. They do. If you know what? They're lying if they say they don't. They're lying if they say they don't. They are fooling themselves, and they ex they are exploitations of the enemy. If they if they have no dealing, if they say I don't, you know, if they don't have any trouble, well, if they're not having trouble in that area because they already they've already taken advantage of it. That's what the deal is with that. You know what I mean? We're cooking with gas, you know. We have so many things going in ministry. There's so much things that I want to do for the Lord, which God is getting ready to open up. You know, it doesn't really matter if I win any Powerball or if I win any money at all or not. But, you know, it's not wrong to me to buy a ticket every once in a while because I don't have a problem with gambling. And, uh, you, you know, I, what I did here lately was I bought five tickets uh, for the Powerball when it was up real high like that and I gave four of them away because because I wholeheartedly believe that if I'm going to get rich it's God's choice not mine it's God's choice not mine no my honey's not laughing at me she's on Facebook <laughs> I thought she was laughing at me <laughs> alright God bless you thank you for joining me We'll see you next time. Another great message. Cross in the middle ministry. God bless you.